Welcome back to DBL. Dale Hansen is a popular sports anchor at WFAA in Dallas, a station owned by our parent company, Tegna. Dale has gone viral for his unplugged takes on hot topics, including a video about national anthem protests, which has more than 1 million views. We wanted to include him in the conversation on our show. Here's the first edition of My Guy Dale's DBL Take. We've got a long time to figure this out, but I am trying to decide who I'm going to vote for next year, and I'm hoping it's a woman. Now, to be as honest as I can, I'm going to vote for anybody but. But I do think it's time we put a woman in that White House, and not just in an office down the hall, but in the Oval Office. There's some interesting choices here. And the way the Democrats keep joining the race, there's bound to be more. But Kamala Harris intrigues me. She lost me during a CNN town hall event when she kept answering almost every good question with this. I think we should have that conversation. No, that, that won't do. But I could go back. I like Minnesota's Amy Klobuchar. Eating a salad with a comb bothers me, but at least it was a salad. And Elizabeth Warren might be the smartest candidate we've ever had in either party. She has a plan for everything. But pollsters say white women who didn't go to college don't like college professors, and she used to be one. She reminds me of my eighth grade math teacher, and I didn't like her either. And then there's the ignorant argument that says women are too emotional for that job. I don't think that's true, but I think I'd like a president when talking about the latest school shooting, the children and broken families at the border, or our soldiers who have to be carried home who teared up a little. It wouldn't bother me a bit, but then I am the guy who teared up during the Judd's farewell concert, and how could you not? Bottom line, I think it's time. So if the right woman's on the ballot, I'm going to say I'm with her. Wow. <laughs> I love that guy. I, <laughs> he shoots it straight. You can't yeah. be mad at somebody who shoots it straight. I know. You know what I mean? I know. And we are living in an era where we still don't have a female president. Other countries yeah. have done it. We have not. And we're Dale behind. said something important. He said, if the right candidate comes with the right policies, I definitely support a woman in office, and I would love to see that happen. But it has to be the right woman that's saying the right message. I love that it's coming from Dale because, as we know, he didn't vote for quite some time and decided in 2016 that he was going to vote. Um, and a big part of what has made him come back a lot of things was talking about his granddaughter who is biracial um, I think that that always eliminates an other that yeah. makes you understand things and coming from his perspective he's seen so many things I'm so happy that he continues to share with all of us amen using his platform isn't he way yeah. to go Dale